Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Los Angeles, California. Currently, I work from and travel through Mexico, living that digital nomad life everyone talks about nowadays, as every QA engineer is able to afford it since everyone works remotely. Anyways, today we're going to try and test out a new video format for the YouTube. We're going to be interviewing one of our students who is going to be graduating in just four days. Uh, and that guy worked in McDonald's in Los Angeles. That guy worked as an Uber driver. That guy worked as a food delivery driver until he decided to change his career. And now he's getting a 100 plus K offer that he will talk about in a second. Uh, let's dive into interview and see what this guy will offer, what this guy will uh, or can advise to all of the future students and the current students who are educating right now. Hey, Serge, good to see you. Hey, hey, hey aloha. <laughs> That's cool, man. You're in Hawaii? Yes, sir. You're one of our first students who is uh, going through the education process from Hawaii. Right. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, let's see. I won't waste your time. I know you're going to be busy surfing and hiking today on Kauai Island. So let me quickly get into business. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Like, where are you, where are you coming from? Uh, what's your uh, level of education and et cetera? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so uh, I born in a little in a small city here. And then I moved to Moscow to study civil engineering. I got my master's degree um, actually in the United States. So I moved to the States during the COVID and I graduated here because of remote education. <clears throat> yeah, I worked at McDonald's in Russia for over three years. Yep, yep. <laughs> nice. Uh, I started as a crew member and became assistant manager. And I uh, also was in a, a global people project uh, in headquarters in Chicago. Um, yeah. That's, That's awesome. Cool. So you've been working in McDonald's for how many years? Three years. Three years. Nice. So from McDonald's, you decided to switch to QA, yeah? Yep. I always wanted to coding. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. How did you hear about us? Uh, my friends actually graduated from your course and they got jobs and they um, tell me that uh, this is really cool course and uh, because it's a future and I always wanted to try it, I tried to jump on it. Nice. Was it Slava, your friend? Yeah. Nice. So that's the guy who's actually our automation expert in a school right now. And the guy who works with me in IT company. Yep. He's already like a teacher too. He's a pro. That's cool. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Awesome. Uh, what do you like about a QA? Like, why did you, I know you got a friend who told you that you should switch to QA, but what do you like about it? What have you heard about it that made you interested? Uh, <clears throat> so first of all, because, uh, it's, uh, uh, it makes you think differently and, um, uh, I'll, I'm a problem solver. So I like to, uh, get this, um, responsibility on myself to fix things. And, uh, <clears throat> and also this is a great, it's a great profession, um, to have, a nice salary in the states because you can spend a little bit of time and you can get a hundred k right away and if you're gonna do something else you have to spend like years to get this level yeah that's true that's true i did is that true were you going through an interview process for the company for 100k but it's not done yet um i actually already have something going on Am I, am I gonna get something? <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Uh, do you want to share it, or shall, uh, sh or it's not complete yet? It's not complete yet. Gotcha. Okay, cool. But it was for a hundred plus k, right? Yeah. Awesome. That sounds amazing. And how many how many months have you been studying so far? Uh, five months. Five months. Oh yeah, that's right. You are going to be graduating this Wednesday. Right. 
and you're already going through the 100 plus K uh, interview process and you're almost done there. Well, that's the good news. Uh, that's the good news. Was there any other people in the in a class who already got offers? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, yes, Andrew also got an offer. He's almost got offer, I think. Oh, yeah, he's going through the interview process. That's right. That's right. And uh, gotcha. I think there was another girl who got two offers already, if I'm not wrong. Oh, Anastasia? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. That's cool. You guys are fast. I feel like every group that is, every following group that we are getting is getting offers faster, probably because we, we're getting more experience ourselves and we give you guys more material. And I don't know, maybe just our students are getting smarter and smarter all the time. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so you are on Hawaii right now, on Kauai Island, right? Right. That's cool. Uh, uh, where do you live? Do you live there or do you live somewhere else? I live in LA and um, in a beautiful Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, why did you choose LA, by the way? Uh, because it's a beautiful weather and um, you can surf in the morning and then drive three hours to mountains and snowboard there. And also it's a lot of opportunities there. And the, all the IT world are close to LA. So. Yeah, that makes sense. How long have you been in US for? A year and two months, I think. A year and two months. That's awesome. That's great. Uh, what do you do now uh, while you're in the interview process? Like, what's your job? I'm an Uber driver. Uh, I do deliveries. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uber driver. Travel, travel around the states. <laughs> so you're going from Uber, drive, Uber driver, from delivery driver, from the McDonald's straight into IT, right? Yep. That's, that's quite a move, I can say. <laughs> a life changer. It's a life changing opportunity, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, so uh, how long are you there on Hawaii for? Two weeks. Oh, actually like a week and yeah. Yeah, okay, that sounds cool. So uh, you already had uh, been studying for almost five months. You got one week left, actually this Wednesday in four days, you are going to be done and you almost got a job offer. Uh, when do you feel like you were ready to go for an interview during the education process? During the course, um, I think I was ready. Um, say a month uh, before graduation, uh, but I I would recommend started like two months before. As soon as you feel like comfortable uh, with your knowledge, and uh, it's also good that you're gonna start early and like get the skill of the interview and. Um, yeah, you feel more comfortable after a few interviews, and this is yeah, that's what I think. That makes sense. Uh, so you've been studying automation testing already, right? Yeah. For a while. That's cool. How do you feel about it? Pretty cool. Uh, I can do automation from scratch. I can do everything. You guys just... Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can do everything. That's yeah, awesome. Okay. If you have Google and uh, Academyfy, this is the key. <laughs> That's funny. Google and Academyfy, what a mix. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. How many interviews did you go through already? A five. Five interviews. And you are getting an offer. Wow. That's, that's pretty quick. Well, can I, can I hear, uh, can I cannot wait to hear what's what their offer is going to be like and what position it is. <laughs> Actually, quick question. What was the most challenging part of the course? Because a lot of people say that, oh, um, I'm afraid to do it because I'm not a technical person. Uh, I'm afraid to do it because you're going to have to code and I don't know math. I'm not good at math. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a farm boy. <laughs> um, I think um, the most challenging was... Um, just to start doing it it's like i mean i'm not like good at mathematics too but like it doesn't matter you can uh, they you can the academy can teach you well and uh, 
you don't have to be engineering mind ads. Um, yeah, so you can just take your ass off the set and start doing it. <laughs> That's a great advice. I definitely agree with that one. It's like one of the best advice that you can give to people who are hesitating to uh, to start a life changing, uh, to start to start changing their life, just to get to a new career. Yeah, it's always hard to start but then you just have to do it and never like get, get yeah. up yeah uh, do you think it's more about just the logic more about figuring out things and googling them than actually knowing the math it's just uh logic it's pretty easy so like open website click verify you don't know you don't have to know anything like hard right By the way, I know you are in Hawaii with a lot of friends right now. And I feel like about three people out of eight are going to be our students in the next group. Is that right? Yeah, actually, um, three people already applied for the course and all are again getting into IT. <laughs> It's pretty cool. We're going to open uh, our own company soon because everybody is getting into there. That's awesome. Wow. What do you? Uh, which spheres are your friends coming from? Because I know you. You. Uh, you've been working for uh, McDonald's. You've been working as the Uber driver, delivery driver. How about them? Where do they work right now? Uh, they work in a cable, so it's just like internet installation and the cameras, and they live in Seattle. Nice. That's cool. So pretty much people from any sphere can come and become a QA engineer, right? Right. Interesting. Uh, what would you advise to all of those people who are sitting on their couches out there and probably watching this video right now on a YouTube? I've already talked about it actually with them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I told them um, just to start like reading and practicing and start applying for jobs as soon as you can feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, because If you're gonna wait until you're gonna down with the course, it's uh, it's still gonna work, but it's better to start as soon as you can. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So pretty much uh, study for about three months and then two months before the education and start applying already because it takes time for recruiters to reach out to you to go through the interview process. Yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Awesome, all right. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of your knowledge Sir, uh, Sergey, I hope you're going to have an amazing time surfing today in Hawaii and going to get your Honey K Plus job offer. And then we're going to call you again and see what was that offer about. Yes, sir. Mahalo. <laughs> Mahalo, my friend. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. I can see better. How do you guys like this guy? He's a quiet character, right? Anyways, uh, if you guys are not 100% sure what QA exactly is, I've put together all the basic information about the QA field and the QA career you should know before making your decisions. It's very easy to read ebook that covers QA basics and the QA career paths, how and where you can grow from a QA engineer. And the main thing, how much money can you make throughout your career growth that we will specify in that ebook. It will take you less than five minutes to read it, I promise. It's super easy and very user-friendly. Uh, I'll leave a link for it in the comment below of this video. And classic. If you guys didn't hit the like button below, please do so and also subscribe to our channel. I hope all this information will help you to figure out what's going on in the QA world and what are your next steps related to it. We'll <laughs>